One of the best ultra-wide monitors delivers much more in the way of benefits than you might imagine, and these expansive screens can be ideal for a number of different types of users, and not just gamers, which is likely your first thought for the kind of person who might want one of these displays. Granted, they are very well suited for PC gaming, with all that additional screen real estate making the experience more immersive, not to mention the extra peripheral vision that an ultra-wide monitor grants you, which is particularly useful in, say, first-person shooters. Indeed, our top pick in this roundup, the LG Ultra Gear 38GN950, is a superb gaming monitor that really delivers the goods in terms of image quality and reinforcing that immersive aspect. Mind you, it could be argued that all this display space is even better for ramping up your productivity and working with multiple apps on one screen. And there are plus points on the ergonomic front too, with these ultra-wide displays possibly helping to reduce eye strain and neck pain. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top 6 best ultra-wide monitors in 2025 and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 6. LG Ultra Gear 38 GN 950. If you're looking for the ultimate gaming monitor, the LG Ultra Gear 38 GN 950 is certainly the one to beat. With a 144Hz refresh rate that can be easily overclocked to 160Hz, 1 millisecond response time, spectacular image quality, and many other gaming features like G Sync and ultra wide aspect ratio, and display EDR600, this is a truly remarkable monitor. During testing, the 21 to 9 ultra-wide aspect ratio certainly delivered the wow factor games feel much more cinematic on this display, offering not just a super immersive experience, but also a tactical advantage. In particular, Microsoft Flight Simulator greatly benefited from the ultra-wide design as it allowed us to keep an eye on landmarks and runways without pressing a button to switch views. We found that playing at 144Hz and 160Hz results in an enjoyable experience without screen tearing. Meanwhile, the DCI-P398% color gamut support makes it a good option for photographers and video editors. The HDI here is still a middling version, with a peak brightness of only 600 nits. Still, although it can't compare to OLEDs in particular, the Ultra Gear 38 GN950 does display a decent HDR image. During testing, the 21 to 9 ultra-wide aspect ratio suddenly delivered the wow factor games feel much more cinematic on this display, offering not just a super immersive experience, but also a tactical advantage. In particular, Microsoft Flight Simulator greatly benefited from the ultra-wide design as it allowed us to keep an eye on landmarks and runways without pressing a button to switch views. We found that playing at 144Hz and 160Hz results in an enjoyable experience without screen tearing. Meanwhile, the DCI-P398% color gamut support makes it a good option for photographers and video editors. The HDI here is still a middling version. Number 5. LOCCU 34 g 2 x this frameless monitor works hard to provide best-in-class performance, rather than advertising its gamer-centric nature via sharp angles and aggressive RGB lighting. If you're looking for gaming features that boasts a 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and 1440 resolution for immersive gaming that looks incredible as well, the AOC CU34 G2 Exa performance is also impressive beyond gaming-centric uses. Its curve doesn't feel too overwhelming when leaning in close and offers one of the most immersive gaming experiences we've had. Out of the box, the hues and shades are gorgeous, not needing any adjustments or color balance. Meanwhile, its 144Hz refresh and 1 millisecond response time have proven to be effective at minimizing screen tearing even during intense battles. Sadly, there is no G-Sync, which is disappointing considering it's a gaming monitor. Plus, the menu is a little annoying to navigate. However, this is among the best ultra-wide monitors for gaming, not to mention a lot of value for your money. The AOC CU34 G2 Exa performance is also impressive beyond gaming-centric uses. Its curve doesn't feel too overwhelming when leaning in close and offers one of the most immersive gaming experiences we've had. Out of the box, 
the hues and shades are gorgeous, not needing any adjustments for color balance. Meanwhile, its 144Hz refresh and 1 millisecond response time have proven to be effective at minimizing screen tearing even during intense battles. Sadly, there is no G-Sync, which is disappointing considering it's a gaming monitor. Plus, the menu is a little annoying to navigate. However, this is among the best ultra-wide monitors for gaming, not to mention a lot of value for your money. Number 4. BenQ Mobius EX 3000 410R. The BenQ EX 3410R is an excellent ultra-wide gaming monitor with lots of features, a stylish design, and great 144Hz performance. Its 1 millisecond pixel response makes it a fantastic option for esports players who need to better see the battlefield and react quickly. Though, bear in mind that we found during testing that it still requires some calibration for best results. Surprisingly, the speakers on the BenQ EX 3410R are actually very good too. And while they're not going to compete with a high-quality soundbar with a subwoofer and Dolby Atmos, they are more than enough for the vast majority of people out there. The only real knock we have against it is that while it does have good color coverage, it doesn't have enough for the needs of creative professionals. So this is really a gamer's gaming monitor, rather than something that creators who are also gamers can use into doing double duty. The BenQ EX 3410R is an excellent ultra-wide gaming monitor with lots of features, a stylish design, and great 144Hz performance. Its 1 millisecond pixel response makes it a fantastic option for esports players who need to better see the battlefield and react quickly. Though, bear in mind that we found during testing that it still requires some calibration for best results. Surprisingly, the speakers on the BenQ EX 3410R are actually very good too. And while they're not going to compete with a high-quality soundbar with a subwoofer and Dolby Atmos, they are more than enough for the vast majority of people out there. Number 3. Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 Go big with the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. Sure, a 21 to 9 aspect ratio is great and all, but if you love games like Final Fantasy XIV, you're going to need more screen real estate for your buttons and meters. Luckily, this behemoth offers the coveted 32 to 9 aspect ratio, which gives you a whole lot more room to spread out. It's more than just the size, it also packs the most impressive tech we've seen and used in a gaming display. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 takes everything offered by its predecessor, the Odyssey G9, and turns it up to 11. It now comes with Samsung's new Quantum Mini LED tech that allows this panel 2048 local dimming zones for the most impressive and stunning HDR we've ever seen. We found this to be brighter and more colorful than anything we've ever seen. Unfortunately, because of its size and tech, you need a seriously powerful PC to take full advantage of it. But then again, if you're buying a monitor that costs as much as this one does, you probably have the gear to back it up. Go big with the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. Sure, a 21 to 9 aspect ratio is great and all, but if you love games like Final Fantasy XIV, you're going to need more screen real estate for your buttons and meters. Luckily, this behemoth offers the coveted 32 to 9 aspect ratio, which gives you a whole lot more room to spread out. It's more than just the size, it also packs the most impressive tech we've seen and used in a gaming display. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 takes everything offered by its predecessor, the Odyssey G9, and turns it up to 11. It now comes with Samsung's new Quantum Mini LED tech that allows this panel 2048 local dimming zones for the most impressive and stunning HDR we've ever seen. We found this to be brighter and more colorful than anything we've ever seen. Number 2. Corsair Senian Flex 45 WQHD 240 Bendable monitors have arrived in the PC gaming world, and the Corsair Xenium Flex 45 WQHD 240 OLED -E is one of the pioneers. As with any new tech, it's an expensive piece of kit, but it gives you a whole new experience you won't get from all other ultra-wide gaming display, and gaming monitors in general for that matter. By bendable, we really do mean bendable as this display's panel is capable of curving up to 800R. That means that you can pretty much play whatever PC game genre you want on this monitor at the most ideal curve for immersion. And it can completely flatten as well for games like Rocket League and Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Its flex is quite literally its flex. Being an other LED panel, we weren't surprised to also find its colors rich and its blacks beautifully deep. What we were particularly pleased about were the color representation and color accuracy. 
our colorimeter reading gave us just under 100% DCI-P3, 100% sRGB, and a Delta E average of less than 1. That means that it's good enough for content creation as well. There are opportunities for improvement here. The bending mechanism still feels clunky, HDR10 support is also disappointing, and there are no swivel or height adjustments. However, this is a truly versatile and immersive gaming monitor that's worth considering if you want to go the ultra-wide route. Number 1. BenQ EW3880R The BenQ EW3880R is just as great for work as it is for media consumption. It boasts a supple curvature that increases immersion, at Ultra HD resolution in 21 to 9, and eye comfort features that boost productivity. Its ability to display four full-sized of four documents, huge spreadsheets, and large graphical working areas makes it a productivity dream. Plus, during testing, its Ultra HD 3840x1600 resolution kept everything crisp and in sharp relief while its evenly lit panel married with the matte screen kept us from feeling fatigued even after prolonged periods of work. As for media consumption, the built-in 2.1 sound system is seriously impressive, not to mention space-saving since you won't be needing a pair of external speakers. It's expensive and not quite gaming-friendly. You might experience motion blur, image tearing, and skipped frames when playing fast-paced games. However, if you have the money to spend on a premium display for work and entertainment, it's definitely a winner.